Danny is on the line in Arlington, New Jersey. Hi, Danny. Hi, how are you doing? I'm well. How are you? Very good. Um, I have a, I've been listening to you for a long time. Thank you. And my daughter's at the age where I want to introduce her into coding and making apps for her iPad. She's oh, very excited about doing that. That's great. How do I do it? I mean, I'm starting basically from scratch. I want to do it with her. I used to program and code back when, in the days of basic. So there's a huge detachment there. How can I get started without going to, um, what was that, that ranch, Nerd Ranch? <laughs> Big Nerd Ranch. Yeah, you um, saw when we had, uh, we, we did a show after the uh, Apple conference uh, the, earlier this week. And um, a young woman, I think she was in seventh or eighth grade, came over. She was a scholar and uh, who was, uh, Apple gave her a scholarship to come to the developers conference because in middle school she'd done some coding. I met, I've met a number of young people and many of them learned at the Hour of Code. That's hourofcode.com. This is a, a movement to get kids. How, how old's your daughter? 12. <clears throat> Perfect. Perfect. To get kids, especially middle schoolers, involved in coding. And if she shows some interest, that's great. They have Hour of Code events and so forth. Um, that's a place to start as a resource. There is an iPad. There are a number of iPad apps that teach coding, including a, my favorite, Tinker. T-Y-N-K-E-R. It's fun. Okay. And it uh, sh should probably just play it. Is that the app that teaches you how to do the if-then? Yes. Thing? Yes. I saw, I saw the show on that. It's really cool. Um, so I recommend that, and uh, I don't think it's too expensive. Done. Then, of course, on the web, there's lots of places you can learn. And as she gets more proficient, she can even take college-level courses at iTunes U or Udacity or Coursera. Google has, an they call it their nano degree program, where you could take a few courses in a particular area and get a degree. And, you'd, and anybody can do this. And, of course, there's CodeSchool.com, which is another great thing. The only uh, thing about CodeSchool is it's web-based technologies. So it's not uh, – and I, th I understand she wants to do iOS because that's what she loves. So this will be less useful for iOS. You're going to learn kind of more um, web, web programming. Not that that's not a very useful skill. There's also Code Academy, which is a great place. But, again, it's focused um, not so much on app – creation uh it's free though that's the nice advantage of that and certainly as you get more advanced you know what? you should go to code school uh, code academy rather.com and uh and play with that a little bit they have a variety of different languages they make it very easy to learn online uh and you see they they uh they uh, start with uh, 13 year olds i mean you you could you know any age it tends to be things like python and not not stuff that's so useful for uh, writing apps. I would start with Tinker just so she can learn the fundamentals. There's a great programming language. Again, it's not going to teach you apps, but I think she, the fundamentals of programming, things like if-then loops, do-while loops, things like that. Uh, Scratch is a great program uh, for that. I, she, might, she might think of it as a little young. A lot of, a lot of schools use Scratch. It's free also from MIT. Scratch.mit.edu. And it, uh, Tinker would lead to Scratch very easily. It's a very similar uh, idea of kind of plug-in uh, programming. But Scratch is not on the web it's, uh, or on the uh, iPad. It's on the computer. So there's, okay. some, there's some great choices out there. And she's, it's a perfect time to do this. And I hi, you know what? You'll have a lot of fun doing it too, I think. Oh, most definitely. Yeah. Um, of the codes, I'm, I'm definitely have a song for Tinker. She'll, she'll dive into that. Tinker will be great. Good place to start. Of the codes that she should learn after Tinker. Well, the problem is, it, okay, so she's motivated to make an app. And on, honestly, that's a lot of kids are because that's, that's where they live, right? On their, yeah. on their tablet or on their, uh, on their phone. So the problem is that that's, that's kind of more serious programming. Um, if it's uh, for iOS, Apple has this new language, Swift, which I think is a very good teaching language. So her, her next thing, if it's for it's for an iPad, would be Swift. Um, but it's but that's now we're talking real coding. I mean, it's a little more challenging. Uh, there is a on a Android. There's some interesting choices like MIT's App Inventor, which is very much like Scratch for Android. And I've written apps in that. And you don't have to be very sophisticated to do that. So there's some there's boy. It's you couldn't have found a better time to take this on, especially. 
for girls because everybody, Google, Apple, everybody dedicating million, Intel, dedicating $300 million to improving diversity in high tech because it's all, you know, it's a lot of guys, a lot of white guys. We want to really improve diversity. So your daughter is coming on at exactly the right time. Quick thing, the I, I watch a lot of your shows on, on I can my tell, iPhone. yeah. Um, you had a woman there. Hold, hold on a sec, we got to take a break. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Yeah, don't learn COBOL. <laughs> Less useful now. I'm sorry, go ahead, Danny. The, um, there was a woman you had on one of your shows, and I, I apologize, I, remember, I forgot her name. You were very excited to see her. She did a lot of coding for girls. Yeah. So uh, we we were talking about uh, uh, App Camp for Girls, which is uh, starting to spread out, and this would be great for your daughter. Uh, if you look for App Camp for Girls on Google, you'll find out uh, more about it. She was a counselor there. It's App Camp, the number four, girls.com. I should have mentioned this. I don't know if it's too late for this summer, but you can see where the camps are. Uh, you're in uh, New Jersey. I don't know if there's one on the East Coast. There's Vancouver, Seattle, Portland. Yeah, they started in Portland, so they're all on the West Coast. But that's going to spread, and that will be another way. Those girls go there. They're her, your daughter's age, and they and they go to camp. It's a great camp, and they leave having written an app or per participated in writing an app. And what's great about that is there are a variety of skills. You could be a, a you know, artist or a programmer. Uh, this is so cool. Um, my friend Gene McDonald uh, does this, and it is amazing. Yeah, Another good one to know about. You should look around. There are probably similar things in New Jersey. I'm sure there are. I'm going to do my best. Hey, Danny, that's great. I'm thrilled to hear you doing that. It's motivated by you. I'm not kidding you. Good. And you know what? You're going to have fun getting back into it. Oh, I know I will. It's the best hobby. To me, it's my favorite hobby. I love it. I wish I could do more of it. It's so much fun.